G'day, g'day guys, welcome to the season two of the free classes with Karen. Now these, this is, I'm just running you through very quickly what I did there. I fussy cut those couple of sheets, so I've got those already pre-cut before I start. And now you get to, in this A5 paper stack from Coco Vanilla Studios in the Happy Days collection, you actually get two of every sheet. So I've gone through and I fussy cut one of the, flor the florals, the words, and um, what else did I cut out? The florals, the words, and, 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 and the butterflies. So that way I've got one of each of those sheets already pre-cut. Now... You can see here I've got some lemons and some oranges. Now, anyone that's been here for five minutes knows that I I don't do giant fruit. Uh, it, it's just not something that appeals to me when it comes to a scrapbooking layout, unless I'm doing something like the big pineapple or, you know, going to something like that. But very rarely does giant fruit work for me. So here's a quick tip. Use it as a backing sheet for your photos you can double stack them you can layer them up adds a little bit of color but you can't really tell it's an orange or an apple or an apple or a, a banana or a pineapple it's just adding color to the border of your photo which allows your photos to pop a little bit more now what are we using in this series so if you're playing along anywhere around the world what i have gathered together this time is the Distress Oxide Mustard Seed Spray. And I've also pulled together the Coco Vanilla Studios A5 Paper Stack in the Happy Days collection. It's a new one. And I've also pulled in this stencil, which I'm really liking, believe it or not. I know it seems a little generic, but it's the Echo Park Studio, Echo Park um, Little Explorer Stencil. Now, to be completely honest with you, when I first saw this one, I was like, eh, what can I do with it? Don't ever look at a stencil and go, eh, it's a bit plain, eh, it's a bit boring. There's always places you can go with a stencil. Now, what I'm running with this time on this in this season is, yes, I'm using these three staples, but as it was explained, it, it was it was a general consensus that last time that you want me to use my bling, you want me to use my extra bits to show you how you can elevate these three products. So it's a basic class, but you want me to still use the bits and pieces that I would normally use. So that's what I do in this layout. Now I'm going around, so I've, I've so far I have backed my photos and I've double backed those. So I've used a darker blue um, it's the floral sheet. So I used that one and I used the oranges and or the mandarins, the, or either oranges or mandarins and, and lemons. I used those to back that because to be completely honest, I like to, when I look at a collection, I quite often like to use the ones that I know will be hanging around because they're they're not as easy for me to use. They're, they're the things that I would have to really sit and think to be able to use up. So for me personally, that is what I like to do. Now with the spray, you just watched me uh, use a makeup sponge and I, instead of using the spray as a spray, you can do so many more things with this liquid. Now I'm using a makeup sponge and I'm stenciling it through, I'm using it through the stencil to create the border as well as a bit of background fun. Now don't, now you've got to trust the process guys. Now remember I always say to you that when you're doing any layout, it doesn't matter what one it is, it's got to go through an ugly duckling phase, okay? I think that's what I'm going to coin here because everything has an ugly duckling phase and you've got to just keep taking, just, just take two more steps. That's all you need to do. I reckon one more or two more steps and bam, it comes alive. So here I've pulled in my Distress Oxide ink and this one is Chipped Sapphire. The reason I went with that is because it matches the blue that's behind my photos. Now I didn't go to town, I didn't put lots and lots of stamping down. 
just enough for a tiny bit of added interest in the background because I did want this particular layout to be more about the oxide spray but you will notice that I actually haven't used it in a spray form at all on this layout so you know that's something that you need to think about when you're purchasing your products when you are um, whenever you purchase a product whether it is a distress oxide spray whether it's a distress oxide ink whether it's a distress ink whether it, you need to try and think there's so many different ways you can use a product and that's what I like to try and bring to the table for everybody I want you guys to get value out of watching my videos now let me explain that just a little bit more in depth. Here, by the way, I'm choosing my title and I'm going to use these, these words as my title on this particular layout. So it's super simple. Again, you've got these in your little A5 pad so you can create your title to match your photos out of your little snippets. And, I do, and when you do cut these words out, by the way, I cut all my solid words out, but I kept the separate letters because I'm actually thinking in the next video, I'm going to show you what you can do with these letters that will make them look completely different again. So that'll be the, coming up in the next video. Now, um, what am I, what was I saying? Um, when it comes to your, your products and whatnot, I want you, <clears throat> I want you to get value from my videos. What you give me is your most prized asset that you own and it costs you absolutely not one single cent. What you give me is your time. So for me to be taking your prized possession, which is time, what I want to give back to you is value for money. I, I want you to walk away from every single video that I produce. And I want you to get to the end of the video and go, you know what, I actually learned, I might use that technique or I might, okay, the colors didn't work for what, you know, I might have sons, not daughters, or I might not have any pets or I scrapbook dogs, you know, you might scrapbook cats. It's, you might sit back and go, you know what, not my colors, but in the range of distress oxides, you might say yellow is not really me. I'm not a yellow person. Not a problem. You could use any other color here. You could use pink. You could use coral. You could use um, bright persimmon. You could use, um, you could even use, um, maybe, no, I wouldn't go carved pumpkin, but I'd go kitsch flamingo. I would go um, peacock feathers. There's so many other colors you could use here. Don't let, just because this is a class doesn't mean that I want you to still think outside the square. If you've got a plethora of different, um, a, a, if you've got a plethora, like I do, you, you've got a little, little horde of distress oxides, go for it. Use as many colors as you like. You may not like just yellow in the background. You might want to make it a bit more two-toned. If you would like to see after, so maybe the second video, if you would like me to create the background using and give you two options to sort of show you this is what I'm creating for the class, but this is one I've created using extra products, let me know below. Just drop it in, just drop the word um, more, drop more into the comment section and I will do that with the next, this video goes up on Saturday. So I will be doing the next video on Monday for a day next week. So let me know if you want me to create a second sort of background that you can put the put it together. Let me know. Let me know if that's something you would like to see. So you can get a couple of different ideas, maybe a boy and a girl direction or a, um, a dog versus children 
you know, like pets versus children, that sort of thing. So these are the florals that I ha cut out of the floral sheet. Now, when you order the A5 stack, now this is something that I want you to understand as well. When you get the 12 by 12 sheets, the florals are larger. If you get the A5 stack or a 6 by 6 cut, everything shrinky dinks. So you end up with a slightly smaller floral. So if maybe you've purchased this, this class kit, if you look at the florals and go, oh, they're really tiny. They're, I don't know if I would be able to use those. Buy yourself one or two sheets of the 12 by 12 and fussy cut those because they're larger and you get everything larger. So even though you've bought the A5 stack, if you buy the 12 by 12 sheet, just buy one. It's like $2.50. Buy that one for $2.50, get that shipped to you, and then you've got the larger florals to mix with the smaller ones. So I'll be doing that in one of the videos coming up to show you the size difference. So now the reason I put back my cheap and cheerful bling and I pulled out this Pink Fresh Studio. Now these are to die for. The ones that I've used here are the Pink Fresh Studio Glitter Drops and they're in Aqua. I purchased these from Crazy Craft Obsession, the same as the kit. So I'm not sure how many they still have in stock, but at the end when I do the close up, you'll see just how much these just lift the flowers. They just, it's this little bit of bling in the middle. I didn't go to town with the um, liquid pearls or anything like that. I just wanted to use something that was very easy for you to make a one-off purchase and be able to add bling to your layout. And I wanted to sort of draw attention to that. Now here I'm gonna show you another way of still using your Distress Oxide and using your titles. So all I've done is I haven't put any more oxide spray on this piece of plastic okay I put three sprays down to start with and I've done the entire layout with three sprays all I'm doing here is I put a little spray of water on it just to sort of rejuvenate it and I'm just using a fine brush and I dropped it on snapshots there did you see that so that now has a yellow tinge to it um, but it's fine it blends in and all I'm doing is just coloring in the center of the words. If you get a nice fine brush, this brush that I'm using is a Montmartre one. I got it from a $2 shop at Beachmere, believe it or not. Um, and I needed a top up because the oxides do affect your brushes. So I like to keep my brushes for my oxides, like my paint brushes. I like to keep those some aside just for the oxides because it does... It oxidizes. Think about what oxidizing does to your vehicle. Well, it does the same thing to your brush. Kind of kills it eventually. So you need to do top ups. So I added that. Now I'm adding a little bit of distressing to the edge of this just to blend in with the little cards that I put top and bottom. Are you proud of me? I managed to squeeze on there a little rainbow with a little sun and it's not it's not to scale, but I got it on there and I'm actually okay with it. I, I don't normally do that. I, I really struggle with that, but I managed to do it and, and it works. Now up in the top there where it says choose happy, there's one, two, three, four, five. And I've just handwritten a few things, five things that this is our old dog, Lily. She's um, passed on. She, unfortunately, she was, she got really snappy and yeah, she, she went a little stir crazy. So, um, unfortunately she's not with us anymore, but I love these photos of her. She was obsessed and I don't use the O word, but she was literally the definition of obsessed before obsession was a thing on social media. She was obsessed with this Nike soccer ball. She just loved it. Love, love, loved it. And she was one of those dogs that she would want you to Throw the ball, throw the ball, throw the ball, throw the ball. That's what she was like. Kind of had the writing on the wall, really. <laughs> now, I'm just using a fine-tipped black marker. Now, I've gone around these. This is, I'm doing this with the thinner one. So, this is my 0 0.05. But, and these are just my Montmartre black 
These are my cheap and cheerful pens. They work really well. I have no problem with them. Now, trust the process. I'm going to re I'm going to reiterate, trust the process because I'm going around the outside edge, just going around where the stencils were and just to create a border. Now, I go around and I think I'm I'm already at this point thinking oh, is this a mistake or was this not a mistake? But stick stick out to the end because trust me, it comes together. Now, the next video will be up next one day next week and it will be doing something different. It'll be it'll be completely different. So basically what I try and do is create at least four layouts using the class kit and yeah, so if you want me to, I'm going to reiterate again, if you want me to do like a, a double take by pulling in some other supplies that I already have in my collection um, to enhance what we already have, because you might have them at home yourself. You know, like I used a bit of chipped sapphire there before. If you've got chipped sapphire, go to town. Trust me, it really will lift the process. Like it really will do it. Now, here's where I got to the end and went, oh, it looks a bit giraffey. So I have gone over. Now, all I'm doing here, guys, just a few lines going in all different directions. That's all I'm doing. And look at the difference it makes with that border. I probably, in hindsight, I probably would have done these circles a little bit closer together, but I was just following the stencil going around and... I really like how it worked out. I really like this border. So to be fair, you could have gone to town and gone the full sheet and created the your white cardstock and just completely done this in the background. Go for it. You do you. You get out there and you I'm I'm trying to encourage you to think of a different way that you don't necessarily need to spend a small fortune on products, you know, but by all means, if that's what you want to do, go for it. It's absolutely not a problem. Now, I did decide to go around these titles with a slightly thicker pen. So instead of doing the 0 0.05, I went with the 0 0.3 and tip and it just pops a little bit more. So um, now, what else can I say? Uh, if you are watching this and you want to join in, I will have a list of the products below. These classes will be up here free for everybody, not a problem. Uh, now, I do come in and do just a little bit of splattering, just because I think the white looks a little bit too white in the background. And I know I don't normally do splatters after I've put everything on, but there it is. So here's the close-ups for you guys. Now, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me a comment. All that helps my channel out. No, and it's absolutely to no expense to you whatsoever. If you want to make the, any purchases in regards to these products, you can do that via my link below over at Crazy Craft Obsession. That's where I purchase a lot of my product from. And they help support my channel, which is amazing as do you by simply watching, liking, and leaving me a comment. All of that helps out, helps my channel, and allows me to buy more product. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.